Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Nigerian time, and hello wherever you are in any part of the country. My name is Funke Ajayi, and I want to welcome you to another session on CSS5, and that is Career Starter Series with five questions. I have an amazing young lady with me here. Adela is not just a fantastic lady, she's smart, she's elegant, and of course, she's my primary <laughs> schoolmate, and I'm super excited to have her today. <laughs> Hi, Adela, how you doing? Hi, Funke. Hi, Funke. I'm good. And you? Yeah, fine. Thank you. Good to see you again. <laughs> <Me now. laughs> I've been after how many years. So, boy, how are you? Happy public holiday. Happy Workers' Day. Sorry. It's actually Workers' Day. Mm -hmm. yeah. For people that have public holiday, happy public holiday. Happy Workers' Day. <laughs> mm. no, I'm, I'm not, I wish I want to be you. <laughs> right. Okay, so let's get down to today's questions. Um, we have five questions okay. for you to answer, and then one random question that will come after the five questions. Of course, oh, wow. that okay. question can just come from our conversation that we'll be having. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Okay, so the first question, can we meet you? Who is Adiola? Can you share with us your... Um, you know, career growth, your educational qualifications, and any other amazing thing that you do, probably volunteering. Can you share with us? Okay. Hi. Um, how do I start from? <laughs> okay, so I am, <laughs> I am Eiladiola, Eiladiola Onibokun, um, a finance analyst at uh, Main One Cable Company. Um, yeah. What else? I don't know. That's 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 the summarized version. Okay, so let me just do a brief, so brief rundown. With anyone, any company, any organization. Okay. Um well you have an event company, well, right? Yeah. yeah, so I mean this is supposed to be career, so I don't know if I should bring that in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so 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 um yeah, I'm the creative director of Events in Nigeria, uh, an event planning and event management firm. Um, yeah, so I we, we run that alongside our nine to five. Shout out to those of us that have um, <laughs> shout out to those of us that have um, businesses, and then you have corporate workers. So um, yeah, yeah. So that's that. Volunteering NGO, no none as of now. Um, I I try to I try to grab every free time I have because um, yeah, both activities are really really so yeah. So, so far, so good. Basically, okay. what got you started in your career? What got you started? Ah, this is interesting. Is it like I think the, 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 the introduction is that I would like. So, for me, what got me? So, what got me into my career, right? Okay, I don't. Well, I love what I have a very, very funny academic story, right? Okay. Um, in secondary school, I remember during SS1, you know this summer holiday we usually have there, yeah? In between your, your long back. Yeah. And I remember I was in sciences because, I mean, everybody wanted to be a doctor, right? Right. So, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think that, that, that summer holiday, I really didn't do well with chemistry and then further math. So, I, I was just like, no, science is not for me. So, I went to arts class. So, I was in arts for, um, SS1 down to SS2, SS2 first term, right? And by second term, you know, I just had this awakening that, okay. So funny story, my dad was an accountant in some part of his years, yeah? And I was just like, okay, I can, I can also be an accountant, you know? <laughs> and then I, I really liked the way um, people in the finance industry dressed. That, I mean, yeah. those two things were really the, the, the major things that made me go to commercial. And then I told my dad as at that time, and I'm like, dad, I want to switch to commercial. And he was like, oh, okay, that's fine. Like, the funny thing, they did not even object. My parents did not object at any point. You know, they were like, okay, that's what you want. I mean, you can go for it. But... Um, so my secondary school, I attended Isola College. Okay. And um, when I got to school the next day, and I was like, oh, I want to switch to commercial. And they're like, why? You know, in fact, they did guide me that can't sell you for me. <laughs> and they're like, no, you're doing science and then commercial, right? I think crazy, right? 
and you're like you're doing so well in art class you know so why do you want to change to commercial i'm like i just want to i want to what a guy can do a girl can like that was just my motivation i didn't have any <laughs> and you know they gave me this ultimatum they gave me this um deal right that okay i would I, they would allow me to switch to um commercial in that term however if by the end of the term i do not do so well um i would go back to art class that was our condition oh. right so i mean who doesn't like a challenge so sorry i sorry so one thing about me is like you don't dare me oh. don't dare me <laughs> <laughs> so um funny funny story uh, by the end of that term i topped the class i ah. topped the class like i <laughs> And, you know, that was just it. And I was like, okay. So, I mean, I'm here to stay. Um, yeah, so I think that was how I got myself in. It wasn't really about, um, it wasn't really about, oh, maybe I really like, num- I've always liked numbers. I've always liked, um, you know, but it was status as at that time. So it was just really about the dressing. And, you know, I saw my dad as an example. And I was like, okay, I, I really wanted, I wanted this. And I wanted to be able to accomplish this. Um as I went, as I grew up, um, I don't know what other thing attracted me to to commercial line. The money. Well, <laughs> okay. I so so um another funny story. Like I said, my my educational history is just is weird, fam. It's weird. Gaining admission into university, I went to um, Obafemi Awolowo University, Great Affair. Great. <laughs> so and um I I gained admission with law. Like you will not be <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so I gained admission with law. Um it I think it was just surrounding my combinations. Um I had I did I did I did literature in Wyek. In jam, I did accounting, so just really everywhere, basically. And you know, when I gained admission, I was doing registration. I already started buying his book, Lotus book, you know, all ready for white and black. Thank God I did not do it eventually. <laughs> so, I, <laughs> no shades, no shades, my my, my lawyer, no shades. <laughs> um, at at the point of registration, um. They, they were like, no, it's not possible. Like, your combinations don't tally. Like, how did you get here in the first place? Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. when when they saw my documentation and they saw how it happened, and they're like, okay, you know what? Please go to Sunny B. You go and change. You go and do change of course <laughs> and come back to come go to go to accounting that you really wanted. Um, it's been a wonderful journey. Um, I I have my um, professional certifications. I'm a chartered accountant, and um, again. For me, it was more of, it was more of, I really wanted, so I'm, I'm, I'm a person that believes in what you want to do, do it early and move on in your life. Like get your professional um, courses, certifications early in life. Don't, don't wait until you are old in age and you start cracking your brain and all of that. So, um, yeah, I have my certifications and that's just it. Every other thing is now online building and, um, probably looking towards um getting masters and yeah in, in more now in business finance um what other thing my personal interest i think or my personality ha okay there's a oh my god <laughs> so you now know the, the irony about as i said i my me being in accounting is just weird like i i okay um you know my personality i'm i am the life of the party. Yes. I am. I am. Really, <laughs> and I remember when I got my first my job. Yeah, I, I worked in main one. I've working there for like three years, over three years now. And when I first got joined main one, um, there was this. You know, everybody has this mindset of an accountant or a finance person. You have to be. You have to be focused. You know, you have to. You sit down. You know, you look at your laptop. One plus one is two. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and I 
and yeah yeah i was you know um i mean i got i i would get to a particular unit and everybody knows me i would go to any like you wouldn't let like, just know when i'm around and when i'm not around you know you would obviously know and it was actually a problem for me i won't lie because you know People, people start seeing it as, oh, this person is not serious. Oh, I was hearing her voice everywhere. You know, so, um, I had to, I had to double my efforts, um, to at least, at least show that, okay, you know what? Yes, I can be everywhere. I can be, you know. But then, I would, I will. We didn't, based on, based on my own personality and my own, you know, I would. At the end of the day, I would get the job done. Yeah. I might not. I might not follow your rules. I might not be, I might not, you know, like follow laid down rules. Okay, this is this, one is two and all of that. But you see, at the end of the day, I'll get it done. Mm-hmm. So, I, yeah, that, that, that's just it for me. And um, with time, so far, so good. I've got seen, in fact, now like this, uh, if I remember, was it last year? Because last, we're still working from home, yeah? yeah. And late, late last year, I had the cost to go to the office. And I just sat down in the office and I was just, you know, just working, just playing music and I just... And um, a colleague of mine has come with me and like, hey, lady, have no problem. Like, this is not you. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> like, this is not like, hey, lady, that I know would have brought this place down. What's going on? I'm like, no, fam. <laughs> this is who you want. <laughs> you know, so, um, <laughs> so now I, um, I would say they are now used to it. Now they understand me and they understand that... Um, and they understand my personality. I understand that, okay, you know what? We have accepted this lady for who she is. And, you know, at the end of the day, she's still able to deliver. So we're good to go. Yeah. Fantastic. So that's just it. Great. Yeah. So let's go to the next question. Thanks so much for sharing. Your educational background is, let me just say it's marvelous. <laughs> it's weird. Don't worry. You can't say it. Because myself, I know. I know he's <laughs> okay <laughs> so we can just say you were in your you know exploratory phase that time yeah yeah which is good yeah okay so to the next question what are the top three things that have helped you accelerate your career mm. wow okay um interpersonal skills mm. very important um I'll say this anyway. I do not regret being me. True. I, I do not regret. Um, I do not regret being me. And, and that's why I tell, I tell my junior colleagues, you know, when they, I'm like, see, no matter what, do you, mm-hmm. do you, be you, don't, don't try, don't try to change who you are because um, at the end of the day, that is really who you are. Right. Um, identify your flaws and yeah, not to say, but your, personality is your personality yeah. right so like i said you know um funny story how based on my personality i happen to know um quite a lot of people across other units so even when some of my managers need some things done and you know i i last based on my my unit what i am do my role i i get to um, have discussions with customers some of our customers and all and if there's any issue and maybe my, my managers need something done, they just be like, Ilade, call so so and so ask them, why have they not done something? And I'm like, no worry, I will do it. Because I know I'll, I'll, it's just one call. I'll lie here for Do you get? And even within the unit, within the company, um, probably when I need something from other units, um, they are more willing to, <clears throat> they are more willing to help me um than other people because for me i've it's i i relate to them not just work only yeah so we we're on the phone we're hi hi how are you guys now uh, how now what's going on blah 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 okay at the end of the day guy i need this now get it done for me uh i need this report uh, if i don't get it by so so time ah uh, you know and <laughs> They, they are willing like I, I i remember i had to call there was a day i had to work late and i had to call a particular senior person, you know, it's not even like we're not even on the same level. And I'm like, I need social reports. Please, can you help me? But we were like, we're cool like that. So it was easy for me to even call him up at that time and, mm-hmm. you know, a demand for it. And at the end of the day, he sent the report in. Wow. Yeah. So first things first is your, your interpersonal skills. You, you need to really harness it. You really need to, 
it's what will take you far. <laughs> also, um, girl certifications. Mm-hmm. Get every certification you need in your career. Um, it's very, very important. You need to get it. Um, I might not have been in the role I am um, if I didn't have my certification. I might still be at a lower level. So yeah, get your certifications. <clears throat> and um, be willing to learn. Yeah. yeah, be willing to learn. Be 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 someone that is teachable regardless. Be someone that is um be someone that people would be teachable and be ready to teach people also. Um because that I feel that is the only way you'll be able to even t- take more tax or take take more responsibilities. If people see that, oh, um, so mm-hmm. under that um uh, under that, that category is be willing to to take more responsibilities even though they are not your responsibilities yes they might be something it might be a, a tax that ah manager excuse sir this this job is not it's not my own no. you get but at that point when they ask for it be, be ready to take it up um because it shows that you know there's there's room for more for you um at the end of the day you might have issues at the end of the day you might have um you might have have it difficult as you as you move yeah but the fact that you are always willing and ready to help would would definitely speak for you so those three things the personal skills professionalism um that's your certifications and all and um yeah be teachable teachable fantastic i i really love the fact that you talked about the teachable and it also leads to continuous learning you know, when mm-hmm. you take up roles that are not even yours or probably mm-hmm. attacks that are not yours, you know, you begin to expand mm-hmm. and begin to understand yeah. that even go on in other places, which is really good. Yeah. Fantastic yeah. work, Viola. Thank you so much for sharing. So the first question, if there's one thing that you wish you've learned earlier in your career, what would that be? Mm. <laughs> your superior is your superior. Bam. Okay, I'll say two things. I'll say two things. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Your superior is your superior. Mm-hmm. Um <clears throat> when um I had to learn it. I had to learn it. Like I had to learn it. Whether is your is your superior by just one level or your superior by five levels, your superior is your superior. Like just take it like that and just accept it. <laughs> You guys might be age mates, you guys might be might be buddies, you guys might be anything, but mm. is your boss no matter what. Um I I see situations where I it happened to me. So I, I recall was it two years ago? It wasn't last year, because we didn't use last year. So <laughs> um I I recall um 2019, I had this heated conversation with my supervisor. Like, um, it was a build-up, actually. It was a build-up. And it, it got to a point that a senior manager had to call me and like, hey, lady, what's going on? What's going on with you and this person? And I'm like, to be honest, I had my own reasons. I had my own, you know, I had my own legit reasons for behaving that way, right? But see, at the end of the day, like, it was that senior manager that I had to explain to me that, see, sit down, let me teach you. <laughs> at the end of the day, <laughs> is your boss is your boss like you need to now be able to understand his own view and understand his request and understand his thinking because another thing is see what your boy is the same way your back people will say that what an adult or an elderly person will see while sitting yeah a young child cannot even see maybe when he climbs a tree you know and for your boss to tell you to do certain things or to react or say certain things um there's something he's seeing there's something there's a reason to it so you, you need to be able to um see your boss in that level there's a reason why they promoted that person to that particular level they didn't think that it, if they didn't think that this person is not capable they would definitely exactly capacity they would not put that person in that role so you might not agree with everything the person says but you see you need to respect that office if you have a personal issue with the person, take it outside. Oh, you need to respect that office. And then um, the second thing, because okay, one B is um, it's all work. 
don't take anything personal. Mm-hmm. Um, your manager would yeah. rant. Your bosses would talk at you, would bite you, <laughs> <laughs> would spend you. Put, like, I see it happening and I'm like, you know, at first, of course, I mean, every, I want to believe that every professional at one level or the other has had their superior lash at them. Unless, I don't know what you're doing, really. You, at one point in your life or in your career, you would have had somebody really, really come at you hard, right? But <clears throat> you just really need to understand that it's the work, right? There's nothing personal. There's nothing, well, or, or less otherwise, Mm-hmm. unless if there's something really personal to it but really 80 percent of it is really really not personal um it's just work um and um at the end of the day people really just want you to to deliver right so if if at any point in time you have someone lash at you and you have someone um probably send you a query or just you know just attack you in a particular way you you at that moment you don't really need to be defensive. You really don't need to start saying you know like ah, why would this person act? Yes, they might not. the The way they they react to it might not be right, right? But at the end of the day, you need to sit down and I like okay, what did I do wrong? Mm-hmm. Why? What did I if I had done certain things the right way? Maybe this person will not have reacted in the way he reacted or she reacted, and then you need to identify those things you need to do better and then you move on it's really really all about the work like you would you would once you once you have that mindset you would be able to move past it you will be able to so i mean i have i have people that would as it would rough it now i see the next minute we're doing tgif like <laughs> we are out practicing and you know that's just all oh, we're discussing fashion items or we are discussing you know, what's the latest thing you get but when is the work is the work yeah. so that's just it yeah fantastic fantastic what what would you say about having someone that'll be that'll be the random question let's just okay the final one okay can you just share a word with um young professionals a word of encouragement or what they think they should do and all of that. Know what you want. Yeah. Know what you want. Um, if a particular career path or a particular unit or a particular um, yeah. face is not working out for you, move on. Mm-hmm. Know what you want. And, um, and then um, behind the scene, yeah, keep improving. You really don't necessarily have to, you know, show it or tell everybody, mm-hmm. I do this, I'm getting better. I'm you get like you don't need to show off. Uh will tell us that you need to flaunt your achievements, but um there are some achievements that you really don't need to um um show. Um but um just just know what you want, yeah. keep improving. Yeah, it speaks for itself. Um particularly pay close attention to your men- mental health mm-hmm. um that's important you 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 know how people can you you know how people can be too engrossed i'm a workaholic like i will say it with my chest <laughs> yeah. <You're only> <laughs> i am I, I i at first i didn't want to admit but i mean now i've been able to admit that i'm a workaholic but um i i think i've been able to take conscious efforts to be responsible for my mental space um, because sometimes you you discover that you you get too engrossed in work and it drains you and it and you just realize takes everything you don't have you. Life anymore. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. You're looking for and your friends, like, oh, <laughs> I have I have certain I have certain um, colleagues that are always complaining to me that they are drained. Of course, I've I have been in that space. I am. I identify when I'm in that space and what I, what I try to do at that moment is just take a break, like take a, take a, I might not, I might still be working, but I just blank out. Like I, I try to listen to stuff that inspire me. I try to um, probably play music. I try to times where, when we're in the office, we had, I'm an accountant. So our month end period is always a vibe. Like it's always a, like, I told you I'm working, like I just any month then right preparing about like it's always the old vibe. But 
my bosses already know that Elade, Elade can be overwhelmed, but just leave her. I will just pack my bag, pack my laptop, go to a conference, the conference room, or go to a place I'm only one, play music, put it on the loudest, where, like everybody will be here. And that's how, like, for me, I am draining everything. Like, I, you just see that I will come out of the office and be like, yes, do any other tasks. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. get, like, that is how I've been able to, like, maintain my own balance. So, find what works for you and be, yeah. be, pay close attention to your mental space. Okay. Okay, great, yeah. great. Mental health is like a really big deal now because if you're not even mentally stable, you won't be able to, mm. like, you won't be productive. That's it. And I feel that there are also ways that employers can actually support employees being mentally stable to be able to get mm. their work done. Let them know what is expected of them. You can even bring distractions to work, like maybe board games, video games. So whenever employees are actually, you know, at that level, they can actually relieve stress. Like in my company, we have a volleyball. Is it volleyball? No, mm-hmm. tennis. <laughs> okay. So if employees are tired, they're like, guy, you want to play table tennis? So yeah, let's go. You know, they go down, play table tennis. They feel relaxed and they are coming back to work again to, you know, get things done so i just believe that employers can actually pay deliberate attention to those things and i could even remember there was a time that we had to invite a lecturer to come talk to us on mental health and how you can live a balanced life you know i I feel that employers have to be really deliberate about taking care of their employees properly okay to our random question now Hmm. Should I be scared? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, be scared. Okay, so basically, you talked about um, you said something that your supervisor is your supervisor, right? Whether one level ahead okay. or five levels ahead. Um, how do you feel like? Because I feel there should be a balance, you know, in okay. getting things done and also mm-hmm. you being transparent and communicating when necessary. So take, for example, if you feel like, yeah, your bosses always should be correct most times, but there are some times that they're human beings too and, you know, they might fail at some point. What's yeah. your thought about having an open conversation with your supervisor regarding things that you feel like, oh, I think I have a say in this too and I feel I should communicate it to my boss. Well, what's your take on that? Yeah, please communicate. Mm-hmm. Like, so so when I say your supervisor is your supervisor, um, that is when it comes to like conflict resolution, right? Mm-hmm. But like, oh, so if conflict, you have yeah. respect, mutual respect. Yeah, respect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But if you have a, if at any point in time you have another opinion to anything, please feel free to raise mm-hmm. it. You know, um, again, no man is an island and yeah. we never know it all. Mm-hmm. We never know it all. Um, so if at some point maybe there's a tax at hand and, and or they say do X, Y, Z, and you feel that if I do X, A, Y, for example, I would still get it. Please communicate, feel free. Um, again, you, I will not come back to the place of respect. However, while you are communicating, communicate in a way that at the end of the day, will not still change it for you, right? Because... <laughs> I mean, this is, I see a lot of young people and, you know, I'm like, what's going on here? <laughs> you know, you, you want to correct your boss and you, your manner is, you know, mm-hmm. it's another topic it's, you people should talk about, you know, mm-hmm. your, your tone, you your body you language, your, your Exactly. Your voice. I told you I had an IG session this morning. We talked mm-hmm. about office experience. We actually okay. dealt into communication, mutual mm. respect at the place of work. Because those things are necessary. And employees and employers need to get to that level where, you know, mm. both people can, you know, have an open conversation about things that are going mm. on in the place of work without any, without like, oh, this person might shoot me off or, oh, this person might feel like my ideas know what it and all of that. We need to just get to that mm. level of having... When you get to your office and you look around, like, oh, God, my employers are mindful of me when they are building this mm-hmm. company. You know, we all need to get mm-hmm. to that level because I'm of mm-hmm. the opinion that if employees spend one third of their time working for you, you just have to take good care of them because without them, there's no... Yeah. Issue. And that's the truth. Mm-hmm. There's no company without that's that's employees. That's, that's actually true. I, I think this is your last statement. Something. So I, 
I was literally in a colleague of mine um, last two weeks. Um, I had a junior team go and leave. Okay. And I had to take up his tax when he was away. Okay. And I mean, it was it was draining. It was draining. And I I had to, I mean, in, in place of communication, you know, I was just sitting with a colleague and I was like, see, nobody's, let's forget all these things that we used to tell ourselves that uh, hey, you go, we'll get and like, yeah. everybody is important. In, yeah. See, if, 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 even if you are only doing one plus one, you are important. I'm telling like, you. Don't, don't, don't let this um, employer's mindset of, don't worry, if, if, if they go, we'll get another person. Yes, you'll get another person. But you see, that person that left, left with some part of your company. True. The person left, the person left with skills. The person left with information. The person left with experience, you know. So we need to get to the point where we see everybody as valuable. Yeah. As valuable. Mm-hmm. As, as in, <laughs> until we get to that point. When, I, I feel when we get to that point, yeah. We begin to appreciate that there has been a, that um, respect now comes in. That you know what, I see you as a valuable team member. Yes, you are not. You are not there yet. Maybe I expect you to be running at four forty, mm-hmm. but probably you are still running at two hundred and ten. But you see, I appreciate that two hundred and ten that you are doing because you see, if I have to have that two ten that you are supposedly doing with my own eight hundred, I will die. So. <laughs> We just, I just think we all have to get to that level, employers, employees, you know. It's it's a good face, and I believe we'll get there definitely. Um, yeah. We have less than one minute from Zoom. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I just want to say thank you, Adiola, for coming. It was fun. It was I tell you, it was fun. fun. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. And yeah. all your insightful nuggets. We're just, you know, dropping it for us. It's just for us to pick it up. <laughs> you know, thank you so much for your time. I'll thank you for it. having me. Thank you for having me. It's a yeah. pleasure. Anytime. Have a nice day. Bye. And you too. Enjoy your holiday. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Bye.